Hi guys, I want to make a video on Latino voters that are citizens of America. Obviously, we can see that Trump had a record with Latino voters, but uh, I've been seeing like in the media, we're trying to portray that, you know, Hispanic Americans that voted for Trump are not American citizens, which they are, obviously. I mean, if you... Unless they're exploiting themselves, because if they're, if they're saying, oh, you know, Hispanics, illegals voted, then they're exploiting themselves. But no, whoever voted is an American citizen. So obviously, the Hispanics that voted are American citizens, and they wanted to go for Trump. They did not want Kamala. That's plain and simple. I mean, I don't know how much difficult it is for, for the media to understand that. We did not want Kamala. We don't like her agenda. We don't like, um, obviously, the people, CNN, MSNBC, you know, and all these um, giant news medias, they don't take the time to go out, talk to people, to understand, or at least the Hispanic community, that they're actually a conservative community. The citizens of uh, of America that are Hispanic are actually conservative. They don't want any of this agenda, or whatever. They also don't want the immigrants coming in like crazy. A lot of Hispanics that were um, illegals, not that that are now legal, they had to come work hard. They don't. They didn't commit crimes. They worked hard, and they became. American citizens, you know, they're naturalized here. And they don't like, you know, they didn't come and apply through an app and say, oh, asylum, blah, 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 and then, and then just come in the country, you know, really easy. They had to go either through a work, work visa or they had to come illegally. And then they, they became legal citizens, but they didn't come here, you know, at least the majority didn't come here and start committing crimes and, you know, li you know, get free stuff and start, you know, living in hotels, like, better than many Americans, you know, that's not how they came. So, obviously, they're not going to vote for that. Also, many, many, many uh, Hispanic illegals that are coming here, some of them are not good people. A lot of people from, from Venezuela, you know, the gang members, um, Guatemala, um... A lot of, you know, Mexican cartel members come here. Um, people from South America and stuff like that, you know. Some of them are not good people, you know. And they're, and they're bad people, you know. They're all, you know, they have all, they all tatted up, stuff like that. And, you know, and they're not good people. I'm not saying all of them that come here, but, you know, now it's just like, it's so easy that anybody can come here. And obviously we, we've seen that most of the, um, Illegals coming here are not Hispanics anymore. They're actually from the Middle East. They're from, uh, you know, Middle East, from Asia, from, uh, you know, from over there. And they're, and they're coming in really easy. You know, that's also very, very, it's a, it's a, it's a security risk. Because if you think about it, Hispanics have, have much more in common than, you know, th they have much more in common to an American than, an Asian or, or a Middle Eastern or an African coming here, they don't really have that much in common. Like, they're 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 Muslim, you know. Like, I don't have anything against Muslims, but you know, a lot of them they don't really have much in common. With the U.S. like Hispanics, they do, and you know, and the ones that come here, and they're not, they're not criminals. They're hardworking people, and they adapt. You know, so. But yeah. Also, you know, I have I've seen a lot of comments on YouTube. Which is ironic because if you're if you're the Democrats, right, you say you're a party of, you know, you want to welcome everyone, but it's really obvious now since especially his Hispanic men, fifty four percent or fifty five percent. We can take a look at it over here. Let's see.
Okay, so we see over here. You know. So it's saying that uh, the biggest group right now that voted for Trump is white men, 60%. The second biggest group after that is Latino men, 55% voted for Trump. And then after that, it's white women. So, I mean, you can see that uh, I know I'm Hispanic and I know that uh, I'm, I'm American. I was born here in New York. But I know because I speak to a lot of Hispanics that play soccer, you know, with a lot of them. Those guys are not liberal. Hispanic men are not liberal at all. Like, most of them do not agree with the agenda. You know, guys, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, trying to do with the kid and stuff like that. They're not, they don't like that. It's not in their culture, is it, you know. They, they're, they're, not, they're not like that. They just, you know, they don't like any of that. They're not gonna, they're not, I don't know, just the only thing, the only reason that some Latino Americans would vote is because they're scared of, like, their parents probably getting deported or something. If they're not American citizens, which I get, but I mean, at this point, if you come here illegally, no matter where you're from, from forever the world, and you come to America... You have to love this country. You gotta love it. You know. You gotta think it's yours. You know. It, if you don't love it, and if you don't make an effort to become an American citizen, get a, you know, get a green green card, become a resident, something. And it's been twenty years or eighteen, and your children are all grown up, and you don't make an effort. You know. You don't have a, um, what's that thing called the, uh, um. And if you don't pay taxes, you know, as a legal, because you can have the e EMI, EI number and something like that. If you don't get that, if you don't make an effort, then you're not contributing anything to the country. And it's kind of, you know, you got to go. It doesn't matter if you're Hispanic, if you're Russian, if you're, you know, whatever. But I'm also, you know, I'm also uh, seeing a lot of comments on YouTube, you know, saying, oh, Trump is going to deport The Hispanics, even if you're a citizen. And that's coming from Democrats, you know. So this is what I'm trying to say. It's very ironic that that's racist, what you're saying. Because, and it's, uh, and it's plain stupid. You cannot deport an American citizen just because of his race. It doesn't matter. That's like me saying to a white, a white person, that hey, you're going to, Trump's going to deport you. It doesn't matter what color you are. The Democrats have just lost their mind. They think everything's about color, about race, blah, blah, blah. And now they're saying, oh, Trump's still going to deport you. I'm like, no, he's not. He can't deport an American citizen. Yeah, he might be able to deport my parents or whatever, but not me because I was born here. As long as that law is still here, where you come to this country and you're born here as an American citizen, which applies to everyone, not only Hispanics, it applies to European people, it applies to uh, um, Africans, everyone, you know, if you come to this country and, and your child's born here, you're an American, same thing with Trump, I'm pretty sure Trump's parents came from Ireland, and he was, and his, I, I don't know who, who, his mom or dad was, was a naturalized citizen, you know, it applies to everyone, so the Democrats are being they're being either plain stupid or plain racist, you know? Because, like, whenever we don't vote for them, now they're saying all this all this stupid stuff, you know, on, on the media as well, saying blah, 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 men, Hispanic men are, you know, machismo, whatever, whatever that. No, it's not that, guys, you know? Just Hispanic men, if you talk to them, you'll know that they are not a liberal in nature. That's just not who they are. The only reason they would vote Democrat, I just told you, is because they're afraid of their parents getting deported or whatever. That's literally the only reason. And maybe a little bit other reasons, but, you know, I'm not saying every Hispanic man is, you know, um, conservative, no, but I'm a big majority are. So, I mean, it's just dumb to think that, you know, Hispanic men don't want to be weak. They're not, oh, yeah, I'm going to be a weak girl, you know. I'm going to pander to, you know, whatever 
you know whatever they tell me whatever uh you know i'm i'm going to i'm going to say i'm not going to be like hey honey yes honey they don't do that you know it's not in their culture saying hey honey yes my wife yeah of course they love their wife stuff like that but they're not going to be ran all over that's not who they are you know that's just not our culture and we don't like being a weak a weak little man we don't like that um yes i mean that's basically the story i mean you can see that um in 2020 they voted a big majority voter for biden um now they all flock to trump i mean it was like a 15 percent difference i mean that's not a that's a really big shift and Biden the Biden administration did a terrible job for everyone honestly they all shifted to Trump but I mean the Latino men yes I mean they, they're a big majority they they shifted but yeah I mean if you guys have any questions you know put down the comments below um you know let me know how, how you feel about this thank you